In this video, I'll discuss grid computing and cloud computing. Grid computing is often called HPC, which stands for High Performance Computing. We even see major cloud providers like Microsoft and Amazon Web Services offering grid computing services through the cloud. Grid computing is designed to provide high performance. This means having many computers essentially linked together where we can share collectively their processing power, their storage capabilities, and their memory. Grid computing allows us to process very large amounts of data, but for a small group of users. A sophisticated management system is required to manage job allocation between participants in the grid, as well as to prioritize jobs that should run first. This is often done through one or more control nodes in a grid computing topology. Each grid computing node needs to have some kind of local intelligence to know it's participating in grid computing and how to deal with job allocation and prioritization. So often there is a client agent installed to make this happen. Grid computing is often used for processing large amounts of data on an ongoing basis. Some examples of that could be related to medical research, oil and gas exploration, or climate model predictions, and so on. It provides a single interface for users that can then access the grid functions. If we look at cloud computing, however, this is different. Because with cloud computing, we are allowing not a small group of users, but rather a large group of users, access to cloud computing resources, such as email or storage, to name but a few, on demand. So these resources can be provisioned or deprovisioned immediately. Participants with cloud computing have predetermined functions and predefined interfaces based on those functions, such as a mail piece of software in a web interface or storage or backup interfaces. Security is also a part of cloud computing in dealing with network transmissions that should be secured or the secured storage of data, perhaps through encryption. But another interesting aspect of security as it relates to grid computing would be malicious users using grid computing to, for example, break encryption codes that otherwise might be nearly impossible with today's computing power. Remember, with grid computing, we're piecing together many different nodes and taking the total of their processing power, storage, and memory, at least in part, so that we can run very large workloads. In this video, we discussed grid computing and cloud computing.